In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the search term report in Google AdWords in order to find negative keywords. Uh, this is when we actually start looking at our own campaign activity and identifying negative keywords based on what people are searching for before they click on our ads. Uh, to find this information, we need to get to the keywords tab and we can either be on the the main tab for our account, which will show all of our campaigns, or you can go to a specific campaign or a specific ad group. Uh, for this example, we're just in one specific campaign for this account. Uh, next, click on details, and then under search terms, click all. So what this is showing us now in the first column, uh, these are the actual search queries people have typed in that led them to our ad. These might not necessarily be a keyword we have listed. You can see this one, for example, chocolate cake recipe is coming up as a broad match. So the keyword that we have that's actually triggering that, that uh, keyword is over here, plain chocolate cake. So we have plain chocolate cake listed as a broad match keyword in our campaign. And that's causing people who are searching for chocolate cake recipe to see our ad. So what you wanna do on this report is just look down this first column and pick out any keywords that don't match what we're actually selling. Uh, the sample here, this company is selling cakes. They sell plain cakes without frosting on them. Uh, people buy them and then decorate them themselves. So with that in mind, we can look here at uh, chocolate cake recipe. And we do not want our ads showing if someone's just looking for a recipe. So we'll check the box next to a recipe here. Uh, looking down the list, the next one, wedding cake decorations. Uh, there's something else we do not want our ads showing for. We do not sell decorations, so we don't want people clicking on our ad if that's what they're trying to buy. We check that box too. And then you're just going to want to continue down the, down the list of search terms here. Anything you find that doesn't fit what you are trying to sell, check the box next to it. Uh, once we've done that, you click on this box up here, add as negative keyword. And you can see the keywords that we've checked show up in a list down here. Now we can add these either to the ad group level of each keyword. So these would just add the negative keywords to the ad group that it was in. Uh, you can add them to the campaign level of each keyword or you can add them to a negative keyword list. Um, I like to use lists. So this account already has a list. So I'm gonna wanna add these keywords to the, the negative keyword list. Um, now you can see when, when these populate in the list here, Google puts them in as exact match negative keywords. Uh, meaning if we added the negative keyword just like it shows here, it's only going to work if someone types this exact search term, chocolate cake recipe. Um, if someone used a different search term that was looking for a, a different type of recipe, our ad could still show because the only thing we're excluding is chocolate cake recipe. So once you're, when you're going down the list here, we need to change that. We want to exclude any search query that has recipe in it. So we want to get rid of the exact match brackets, um, but let's also get rid of chocolate cake. So now we've added recipe as a negative keyword. Anyone who types any search term that has recipe in it isn't going to be able to see our ad. We'll do the same thing here for uh, decorations. 
So we have our list here, our recipe, decorations. And when we click Save, that's going to add those to our negative keyword list.